once again YouTube and welcome to another Halo Megablocks review by the SS Motion. So today I'll be reviewing the Police Cruiser Standoff, which is item number 97452, is 224 pieces, currently retails at 15 to 20 pounds, and is part of the brand new Fall 2014 line. So we'll start with the figures. First of all, we have my personal favourite, the NMPD officer. Now this is probably one of my favourite figures Mega have ever made. I have been wanting NMPD sets and vehicles and figures, more importantly, for since the line started and ODST came out. It has been my most requested thing and just to see this in front of me is just awesome. This guy is amazing. For first, he's actually part of the new um, range of UNSC figures. If people weren't aware, they are actually very different. They have two main points that make them different. First of all, they are new articulation. That means they can swivel all the way around. They have a ball joint on their arm. And because of this, it means that they can actually position weapons in unique ways like never seen before. So they are so much better and Mega has my full support with this new idea of new articulation. They also have removable armour. You can see that the um, pieces all detach here. This one actually, the armour for the chest comes off over the head and you can see it is incredibly detailed. My favourite part of these new uh, police figures is the fact that they have so much detail. You see the police logo there and if you can just see it there's the NMPD emblem just below it there. And we also have things like on the uh, shoulder pad here you can see NMPD in little letters as well. So the, the amount of detail on these is exceptional. They look amazing and they feel amazing. So this guy is obviously um, an NMPD officer. He's in sort of grey colour with black detailing. He's got brown pants and a brown sort of belt. He also has this little belt that can come off. If I detach the whole body you can see that the belt actually slides off like this. It even has a little ammo pouch at the back. These things, guys, you don't really appreciate it until you get your hands on it. I certainly didn't. But when you do, you can just see that the level of detailing on these things, the level of design from the Megablox team is applaud worthy. They look exceptional. The second figure is this guy. This is the new Brute Chieftain. Now the mold itself is actually identical to the old Brute Chieftain. Um, and there's no new articulation in any of the Covenant figures as of yet, but this guy looks exceptional. He's in plain black and has red outlining. Now, if you've ever played Halo 3 ODST, this is a great dedication to the game. Basically, you can have night visor mode on in ODST, and everything's outlined uh, Covenant in red. And this guy just has a red outline for the visor mode in ODST, which is just an awesome tribute to the amazing game, because it is my favourite ODST game, and this set is basically a dream come true for me. So this guy, there's not actually much detail, like I said, other than the um, red, but he's also got red eyes as well, and just makes for a really nice figure. My favourite Brute Chieftain so far, because of the colour. So these two figures are absolutely awesome, and believe me, you cannot get enough of this amazing new articulation. We are also treated to some brand new weapons, these look awesome. The, we, more, most importantly, have got the brand new mold shotgun, which looks awesome, in grey. A plain magnum in grey, seen a load of them, and a plain grey assault rifle. So it's also quite nice that they've kept the old design of assault rifle, considering it is Halo 3 ODST. And we've also got a brand new coloured gravity hammer in silver. So a really nice coloured gravity hammer here, and actually one of my favourites. Very nice amount of weapons, considering there's only two figures in the set. So, on to the main event. Now, if any of you guys know me, ODSTs are my favourite thing in the in the Halo universe, and Halo 3 ODST is by far my favourite game in the Halo franchise. So I might get a bit fanboy on you with this vehicle. This vehicle, and I, uh, this is the first time I've ever said this, this is my favourite vehicle they have ever produced, and I think ever will, because since ODST came out, the um, lovely police cruisers and the standard um, civilian cruisers have been my favourite thing in the Halo universe. They look amazing, they are sleek, and they, Mega, have just done absolutely outstanding job on this. So, I'm going to go through it without uh, trying to sound too positive, because, <laughs> you know, you need some negatives in this as well, but this thing is just exceptional. So basically, it's in a white main colour, with grey detailing and black at the front. We have a big hood that can lift up and show one seat inside and one flap here, which I will get onto in a minute. 
We have got a steering wheel and loads. Basically, the best thing about this vehicle is the sleekness of it, the smoothness. Everything is curved, everything is well finished. It feels like a very well-designed vehicle. We have lovely police lights on the top here is one of my favorite details and great NMPD and police logos. It's a little bit of a shame that they are stickers because as you know, I don't like stickers. They peel and they bubble. But, um, you know, for only a £20 set, I can't really argue, this thing looks exceptional. We've got really nice wheels, and the whole thing looks awesome. So I always do a load of research on new uh, lines coming out and new models, so I usually know everything, but it's always nice when Mega catches you off guard with something you didn't know. This little black flap here is actually a weapon rack. It can store an assault rifle, well, it can store two weapons inside, and looks amazing. So it has these two little sort of circular slots where you can insert two UNSC weapons as sort of just like an armory inside the car. Like, I don't know how that could be any more awesome. So it only has one seat for the uh, NMPD driver to sit in. It actually has a peg here that holds the NMPD driver in place and uh, he can fit very nicely in. The flame warthog I found, uh, the figures can't fit in very well, but this one has loads of space and it just clips in and looks incredible. This thing, guys, honestly, if you buy any sets of the new line, this is the one to get. The Mega Bloks team have gone all out on this set and made it look just spectacular. So, this was another Halo Mega Bloks very biased review by the SS Motion. Please like, favorite, and subscribe if you enjoy what you see. This is just set to be the best year for Mega Bloks yet. I am so excited about their new line, so excited about the new articulation, removable armor, and all these awesome sets. And uh, yeah, please give a, a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and we'll see you next video.